Time by Courtney Barnett is in standard tuning and involves a lot of standard chords. You're going to need to know an A minor, a D minor, a G major, a C major, an E minor, an E major, and then an F major. So a lot of chords are happening here. The first chord, an A minor, you're going to strum from the, the fifth string down to the first string. I've got an open fifth string. I've got my second finger on the fourth string second fret. I've got my ring finger on the third string second fret. I've got my first finger on the second string first fret and an open first string. That's your A minor. To a D minor, I've got an open fourth string. You're going to strum from the fourth string down to the first string. Open fourth string. I've got my second finger on the third string second fret. I've got my ring finger on the Second string, third fret, I've got my first finger on the first string, first fret. So A minor to a D minor to a G major. The way that I'm making the G major, I've got my ring, uh, my second finger on the sixth string, third fret. I've got my first finger on the fifth string, second fret. I've got an open fourth string, an open third string. I've got my ring finger on the second string third fret and then my pinky finger on the first string third fret. A minor, D minor, G major to a C major. Standard C major. You're going to strum from the fifth string down to the first string. I've got my ring finger on the fifth string third fret. I've got my second finger on the third string second fret. I've got an open third string and I've got my first finger on the second string first fret open first string. This is going to be the first half of every verse and chorus. A minor to a D minor to a G major to a C major and then it's going to change and go to an E minor standard E minor. I've got an open sixth string. I've got my second finger on the fifth string second fret. I've got my ring finger on the fourth string second fret and then everything else open. You'll hear Courtney Barnett go from this E minor to an E major taking her first finger and laying it down on the third string first fret. So we'll go E minor to an E major and then an F major. The way that I'm making this F major is I've got my first finger on the 6th string 1st fret, I've got my ring finger on the 5th string 3rd fret, I've got my pinky finger on the 4th string 3rd fret, then I've got my 2nd finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret. And I'm strumming 6th string through 4th string. If you want to go full blown bar chord and grab strings 1 and 2 on the 1st fret, feel free to do that. Occasionally, uh, especially whenever she's playing this song with electric guitar, you can hear her get some of the dissonance out of strings uh, one and two by just not fretting them, and you get a sound that's more like. So, if you want to go for that dissonance, go for it. Um, also, a little embellishment that you can hear and see her doing whenever she plays this song just acoustic is that also occasionally 
whenever she goes from the E major to the F major, instead of making this bar shape, she leaves the first finger out of it altogether and just takes this E shape and slides it up one set of frets and strums from the fifth string down, getting something like as opposed to The first lead break in the song is going to be happening over um, the same progression that is occurring throughout this entire thing, the A minor, D minor, G major, C major, E minor, E major, F major, and it's going to be the way that you're going to do this is that you start off on the first string 7th fret and then go to first string 5th fret. I played that as a pull-off. After those two notes, you're then going to hit the second string fifth fret. So you've got... And then you're going to repeat that exact same rhythm on the second string. The way that you're going to do that is second string sixth fret, second string fifth fret, second string third fret. So, so far we've got... After hitting the 2nd string 3rd fret, you'll hear the guitar then play an open 3rd string and an open 4th string is what it sounds like to me. Coming back together again. And then you're going to repeat the rhythm that we've got going still on the 2nd string. 2nd string 3rd fret, 2nd string 1st fret, 2nd string open. So looping it all back together again. Once you get there, you then take your first finger and put it back down on the second string first fret. You'll hear the guitar hit again the open third string. And then you go. The way that you do that is an open second string, second string first fret, second string third fret, second string first fret again second string open. And that is the first part of the first lead break. And then you hear the guitar go. The way that you do that, this is happening while the other instruments are going from the E minor to E major to F major. The way that you play the lead part there is that you're going to come up to the third string ninth fret. I've got my ring finger on the third string ninth fret, and then second finger is going to go on the second string eighth fret. And I start with the second string and then pluck the third string back and forth. After you do that four times, so Two, three, two, three. You're going to take your pinky finger and place it down on the second string ninth fret. So you've now got both fingers on the ninth fret. And you're going to do that back and forth again. So you've got. And then you're going to take your ring and pinky finger and slide them up one fret. And do the same back and forth between the second and third string again. And what you've just done there is you're moving with the rest of the instruments from E minor to E major to F major. You'll then hear a slide happen where it goes uh, with these two fingers, slides up to the 12th fret and then back down. And the way that it comes together is slide. Slide. Um, the last time out of the first break, out of the F notes, I hear the guitar walk down to an A, something along the lines of third string, uh, third string ninth fret, third string seventh fret, third string fifth fret, third string fourth fret, third string second fret. That A note is where it will resolve and end. And as you're hitting that, the other instruments are going back into the A minor. 
that would again come together like and depending on timing the way that I just played it there it, all that matters is that you get to that A note with some sort of dissension out of the F that's your scale to get there you may just go and leave out the fourth fret but you can play with the timing there there's another little lead break that takes place towards the end of the song and a chord change that changes uh, into G majors and C majors. And what you hear um, the movement doing there is going. The way that I'm doing that is I'm forming what will be basically a G major chord. I'm taking my ring finger and just laying it down on the sixth string, third fret, and that's all that I'm fretting. I'm blocking out the fifth string, and then I'm allowing the fourth, third, and second strings to ring out. And really what I'm wanting to emphasize is the open second string. And then I'm going to take my pinky finger and place it down on the second string third fret. And then I'm going to put my first finger down on the second string first fret and lift up my pinky. And then I'm going to open up the second string. So what we've got is and then you're going to put your first finger back down on the second string first fret and move into the C chord. And then it goes. The way that you're going to do that is open second string, second string first fret with your first finger, second string third fret with your pinky finger, second string first fret again with your first finger, and then open up the second string again, open. And this will come together. And then it goes back into that part while the other instruments are going D e minor, E major, F major. And those are the chords to Need a Little Time by Courtney Barnett.